Remember the tragedies that shook the world. Times where tears weren't enough to express the way we felt. The Titanic was the largest ship afloat and believed to be unsinkable at the time of her maiden voyage. However, the almighty British passenger liner sank in the North Atlantic Ocean on 15th April 1912 after colliding with an iceberg during her maiden voyage. The sinking of the Titanic is known as one of the deadliest peacetime maritime disasters in modern history, taking with it 1,502 lives. The rise of Adolf Hitler led to one of the most violent events in the history of mankind, World War II. Hitler was in absolute control of the German parliament and the Reichstag along with the support of the majority of the people in the country. The rise of Hitler pushed the world into the greatest military conflict. The effect was unimaginable, leading to an estimated total of 4.9 to six million deaths during the Holocaust. The Challenger Space Shuttle disaster on January 28, 1986, took the lives of seven crew members when the shuttle broke apart 73 seconds into its flight. The spacecraft disintegrated over the Atlantic off the coast of central Florida. The September 11, 2001 attacks was a series of four coordinated suicide attacks on the U.S. in New York City and the Washington, D.C. area. This resulted in the deaths of 2,996 people, including 19 hijackers and 2,977 victims. The third largest earthquake ever recorded on a seismograph with a magnitude between 9.1 and 9.3 and the longest duration between 8.3 and 10 minutes was the 2004 Indian Ocean earthquake. It triggered a series of devastating tsunamis 30 meters high along the coasts of most land masses bordering the Indian Ocean, killing over 230,000 people in 14 countries, Indonesia being the hardest hit country of all. Now, let's take a look at the other side of the coin, the various events that contribute significant benefits to the society. Scientists set out to create a drug to help sufferers from heart disease. Under the concept of the drug, it was to enhance blood circulation to the heart. During testing, it turned out that the new drug did not show results as a cardiac agent. However, the male test subjects felt a noticeable increase in erection. The drug is now called Vigara. The laser began as a concept and theory of stimulated light emissions by Einstein in 1917. It is now used in various aspects from nuclear fusion to eye surgery and cancer treatment. The US Department of Defense developed the technology that became the foundation for the internet, so widely used today by millions around the world. It is the engine of today's society widely used in communication, education, and trade. So, what do these events have in common? These events are what we call black swans. What is a black swan? The black swan theory is an extreme impact on certain kinds of rare and unpredictable events to which humans are likely to find a simplistic explanation for in retrospect. Black swans can be both positive and negative, depending on the circumstances. Black swans are also scalable, where the positive or negative consequences have unknown limits. The black swan theory developed by Nassim Nicholas Taleb was to explain three kinds of events. The first is the disproportionate role of high-profile, hard-to-predict 
and rare events that are beyond the scope of normal expectations in history, science, finance, and technology. The second is the non-computability of the probability of the consequential rare events using scientific methods, as is the nature of small probabilities. And finally, the psychological biases that make people individually and collectively blind to uncertainty and unaware of the massive role of the rare event in historical affairs. This concept tries to persuade the reader that the most influential social and technological changes, which are changes that drastically alter the course of future history, cannot be predicted since they are unknown unknowns. Such events will happen for the first time and cannot be imagined in advance. They cannot be predicted by models that predict the future with information from past events. Therefore, we can see that the past cannot be a basis on which to predict the future. To qualify as a black swan, an event must have the following three attributes. First, it must be an outlier, beyond the scope of regular expectation. Second is that it must carry an extreme impact. And finally, after the fact, we can produce explanations for its occurrences, making it explainable and predictable. In conclusion, for an event to be a black swan event, it has to be a surprise to the observer and have a major impact. The event is then usually explained after the fact. Now, let's take a look at financial example of black swan event which is Black Tuesday. Why Black Tuesday is considered as a Black Swan event? This is because Black Tuesday meets all the three necessary attributes such as outliers, extreme impact, and retrospective predictability. Black Tuesday is considered to be an outlier event because no one had expected that the stock market would drop by such a significant percentage before. The market had been on a nine-year run that saw Dow Jones Industrial Average increases in its value by tenfold, peaking at 381.17 on September 3, 1929. However, on Black Tuesday, Dow Jones dropped by 30 points, equivalent to 11.7%, closing at 230 points. For the second attribute of extreme impact, it is generally recognized that Black Tuesday was the beginning of a severe worldwide economic depression, or the Great Depression, which had devastating effects in countries poor, rich, and poor. During the Depression, international trade plunged by more than 50%, while unemployment in the United States rose to about 25%. In some countries, it even rose to as high as 33%. The retrospective predictability attribute is met because after the crash, the event was later explainable. It was later explained that Black Tuesday followed a speculative boom that had taken hold in the late 1920s. Black Tuesday also led to a subsequent actions as in 1933, the United States Congress passed the Glass-Steagall Act mandating a separation between commercial banks and investment banks. Moreover, after experience of the 1929 crash, stock markets around the world instituted measures to suspend trading in the event of rapid declines, claiming that the measures would prevent such panic sales. So how should we cope with black swan events? According to Talibs, it is best not to attempt to predict black swan events, but to build robustness against negative ones and exploit positive ones. The advice he gave for dealing with black swan events in respect of small matters are to go with your basic instinct and accept the risk of being fooled by the future. 
If you try to predict every black swan event, you'll find it impossible to make even the smallest decision, a condition that has been referred to as analysis paralysis. For large and important decisions, Taleb suggests that one should learn to distinguish between human actions that are beneficial from those that may cause harm. Secondly, he suggests that one should invest in preparedness, not prediction. And lastly, seize any opportunities because opportunities are rare. Remember, black swan events are risky and out there. But the biggest risk in life is not taking any risk at all. At all.